Greetings everyone, your boy Marvin Four here with Great American Survival. Today is a great day. Today we're bringing you a special review of the Crossbreed Mini Tuck. This is an incredible concealed carry hybrid holster. I hope you'll stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. Well, as you see, today I'm telling you all about the Crossbreed Mini Tuck. The Mini Tuck right here is a lot like the Crossbreed Super Tuck, only it's a lot bigger. The Super Tuck was one of my first concealed carry holsters I ever used. I really enjoyed that holster. It was really comfortable. I still own it. Uh, the difference was this one is the cowhide, and my Super Tuck is the horse hide. Now, I will tell you that if you live in the southeast or anywhere with a warmer climate, Go with the horse hide. The ten dollar uh, price change up is worth it. Just is. This holster right here, I've really enjoyed. I've enjoyed carrying it. Can see um, appendix carry, and um, I've enjoyed carrying it at the four o'clock location. I can carry this holster cross draw, and it's just a very nice holster. Now the good thing about this is, as I'll show you here in a minute when I turn this camera around, is that. The holster itself is a hybrid. It's got a really dense, thick leather. Let's get a little closer. It's got a really dense, thick leather backing. It's got three adjustable screw, screw holes for you to adjust this up or down. Mine right now is at the highest point because I'm carrying a, this is for my shield and I like my firearms to ride a little higher, especially when there are firearms that are like this. This is a shield, it's a little smaller. It's a little harder to get your hand on it all the way, especially when you're carrying an appendix. The outer shell of this is Kydex. It's got these really nice heavy duty rivets holding it on. Now, if you've never used a hybrid holster, I watched some videos. Um, I always watch YouTube. I watch YouTube just like you guys. And there are knuckleheads out there that don't understand how a holster like this or other hybrid holsters Hybrid meaning it's not just a leather holster like some holsters, or it's not just Kydex like other holsters. It's the best of both worlds. So what they've done is there are people that look at it and they think that this holster should be in this. In as you hear, it's still got a snap. It's still not going anywhere. But they'll, I've seen people shaking them out of these holsters, out of Kydex holsters that are hybrids. You know, this has got leather on the back. Before I forget, here, look, firearm's empty just so nobody freaks out there. Now, the holster itself is not designed to hold this firearm in there like this. This is meant to be sandwiched between your body and the belt. The belt is gonna loop through these loops on your body and then it's gonna squeeze it and keep it in place. That's what secures your firearm, okay? There are knuckleheads out there that made videos where they complain about holsters like the, high, the crossbreed and other holsters that this is not how, you know, that this is loose or this is defective. No, no, it's not. This is how it's supposed to be. And then when you put it on, it's a rock star. It's solid. It isn't going anywhere. That's what it's all about. Well, let me turn this camera around and I'm going to show you up close a lot of details of this holster. Stick with me. So as you see, when you get, first get this holster, it's going to come, it's going to take a little bit of breaking in. But the leather itself, being it's such a high grade leather, it's really well built and really well made. Firearm is going to be easy, as you see here. Well, let me put it back in there and show you. Right there, as you see, if it had suppressor height sights, it's still going to clear. I don't know who carries a uh, shield with a suppressor, but it is an option. As you see, it was still it makes it where if you had those sights on your gun, you're not going to have to deal with that as an extra. The holster itself is really well, nice and smooth. The edges are all rounded and sanded and beveled, so everything's deep. Uh, the powder club coated steel uh, clips are really nice. They adjust. They have the different leathers, like the horse hide or the cow hide. And this one is, of course, has the different adjustments. So by doing this, you can adjust your cant and change it to where it sits a little differently like that. Or you can change your ride height and take it from where it's real high, where the belt is sitting really high and the gun sticking high above your belt, to if you adjust them up, 
it's going to move the belt up basically across here like that and deep put this deeper down into your waistline to make it that much more concealed the the holster itself has been really comfortable like i said i do live in georgia so if you live in a warmer climate make sure you get the horse hide the combat cut one of the biggest things i like about the combat cut this is what they call this right here um is you can get your hand back here see a lot of i mean i can almost get into the full purchase of where i need to be and it's just it's right there a lot of holsters i have don't do that you can't get your your kind of your thumbs back there but it's not really on the firearm this one your firearm your hands back there you get your grip you squeeze it with your hand and you can pull your firearm out fingers still up here everything's still safe nice easy draw one of the negatives of it is if you carry like the 2.0, like this is a regular Series 1 shield. So if you have a 2.0, the grip texture, or if you've had a stippling done, or if you have like a Kimber and you've got some like custom G10 scales uh, or, you know, grips, they can really chafe your body if they're rubbing up against your bare body. You know, this is such a slim profile firearm, the grip, that um, I don't have an issue with it. But if you did... Like with the 2.0 my wife has, she has a 2.0, and it will chafe me if I carry it. It'll just rub me raw. Just because, it's because of the grip texture, but it's just because there's no guard there. And also, when you do carry this, and you carry it tuckable, is make sure where you're clearing your, your garment before you go to reholster. Because I have had mine, when I've tried to reholster, my garment get stuck down in there with the firearm. And then you're looking silly trying to get it all out, so... Make sure you pay attention to that aspect. It's a really nice holster. They really did a good job on it. It's really comfortable. I like the fact that I can carry it appendix. I can carry it at 4 o'clock. I can carry it a cross draw. Depending on where I'm going in a, on a trip, I can carry that in one day. I can carry when I get out. I like to carry appendix. But honestly, I started carrying more at the 4 o'clock location just because I like the fact that after taking my shooting class I took last year, that when I draw my sh my me drawing my firearm, my firearm is concealed, so you don't see it till I'm out, until I'm ready to press forward. You know, if you you know what I'm talking about. It's a really nice setup. Then the appendix holster is great for quick, easy access. I love being able to slide it across to my other um, my left side, even though I am a right-handed. But my cross draw for when I'm in the car, that way my buckle and all that is away from it. My seatbelt buckle is on the other side. You push it across and you have an easy access because you're gonna be, you know, if you're engaging somebody in your car, you're gonna be getting out your driver's door 90% of the time. So when you do, it's good to be able to have your firearm out and be going, you know. But um, I really like it. I think it's a nice holster. Yes, I know there's a lot of hybrid holsters out there on the market, but this one's really nice. I think they did a good job. I hope I will put a link down below for a crossbreed. Let you guys go check out all their other holsters if you're looking for one to get started. The Super Tuck was a great one for me. It was one of the first holsters I ever carried. It was awesome. Guys, go check them out. I hope you guys have a great day. And remember, don't spend as much money on all your stuff. Make sure you're getting training to go along with this because being prepared to use this firearm is just as important as having it. So make sure you get out there, enjoy yourself, Enjoy nature, be prepared, and stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.